boys off these. It's good. Um, you guys want to kick off again? Yeah, um, Josh, Grand Slam, is that uh, a banned word in the Irish camp at the minute, or are you kind of chatting about it a little bit? Um, it's probably something we we would have mentioned at the start uh, at the start of the tournament. So I wouldn't say it's a banned word, no. But um, I think with the threat we have this weekend in the Scotland side that are playing so well, I think it would be probably naive of us to start thinking, saying, talking about a grand slam or anything like that. I think it's going to be a a massive challenge against a really really good side. So I mean, it is obviously the goal for every team going in. You want to win win all your games, but. Um, it'll be such a big challenge this week that I think you can't look far past that. Where do you see the challenges in particular? Obviously, the back row has been pretty settled this year. The back is very strong. How do you cope with that specifically? Um, yeah, I mean, they're Scotland of um, threats across the board. Really, their forwards have been been really effective. Scrum and Mall has been been very good. Um, obviously, as a as a back row, I always think towards the ba- the breakdown. Um, Lads like Jamie Ritchie and Hamish Watson coming back in, there's huge threat in that area. Um, so that's always always a focus for me. And then um, I think their the way their backline have been playing is a uh, is is makes it a big challenge for defenses. And you've seen so far in the three games they've played, defenses have struggled to to live with them. So that'll be a a big focus for us defensively as well. Um, sort of personal responsibility do you take on to stop him? Um, yeah, he's a, he's, Finn Russell's a, a brilliant player. He's been on great form. Um, I think, yeah, that's I suppose the, the trick with him is you don't try and think you'll try solve it on your own. He's If someone jumps out of the line um, or tries to, to go at them on their own, he's, he's got good footwork. He, he's good at, uh, at um, picking the right pass to make. So I think... It's a team. It's a team thing. Anyone who's in and around them has to has to focus on on staying connected with each other and, and not giving them those opportunities because um, he's one of those players that you give you give a bit of space to and he's he's good enough to, to capitalise as we've seen the last few weeks. Ronan, is there um, a different feel kind of coming into camp this week given what the next two weeks could lead to? Is it slightly more pressure? Is it slightly more exciting? Um. Not so much a different feel, really, because I suppose we've been bouncing into each week, um, but just with how enjoyable it is and the environment it is. But I suppose, obviously, with everything that's on the line, um, really looking forward to it. And yeah, it should be a great two weeks for us. Obviously, with 37 players fit to train this morning, there's a lot of competition in camp. Can you talk to us specifically about yourself and Dan Sheehan and that kind of competition? Yeah, it's great. Like it's obviously um, Squish there as well, Rob Herring. There's obviously the three of us there trying to fight it out for that jersey. But um, yeah, it's just pushing each other on, and it's making sure that we're all on our best form, and um, making sure we're constantly bouncing ideas off each other. And just obviously the main goal is, as you said, um, this championship and the Grand Slam. So just make sure whatever we're doing is benefiting the team. Make sure we're in a good spot. Um, I suppose I try and keep uh, every every week I have work ons and things that I wouldn't have been happy with from the week before. I think that always helps. Um, I think the the level of coaching we get in in Leinster and in Ireland as well. I think I'm always always feel like I'm being um, pushed to be better. And I think playing with the the back row that we have um, in Ireland at the moment there's such quality there you want to be playing as well as the lads around you um, I mean look at like Jack and, and Pete and Caelan the way they're playing um, it definitely puts puts pressure on you to want to perform as well so I think combination of that um, the squad competitiveness I guess and then um, being pushed by by players and coaches around you that certainly helps um, and I guess I suppose myself anyway it always be trying to push myself as, as much as I can and put a bit of pressure on myself to perform as well. So um, it obviously helps playing when the team's playing so well. I think everyone everyone tends to look good, I think. 
what's um, the message been from, from Andy this week? Um, I think there's there's been I suppose there's been loads of chatting in different areas, but I think overall it's been an emphasis on on needing to improve. Um, I mean, there were some things we did really well against Italy and and so far in the tournament. Um, I mean, today we we're we we're talking about our defence and the threat that the Scotland have, and I think we'll we'll have to be at our best defensively to play against them. Um, and I think we definitely. We definitely have a bit more growth in in that area from the from the Italy game. They ta they attacked really well, and and Scotland will be a similar threat. So I think defence will be be huge, and then uh, I suppose that in every area really there's there's always different areas we we could be better, and we'll be focusing on those. And, and Ronald, when you're going well, you three wins in a row. Do you want that this week, or is it something you welcome, or something you would prefer to just kind of plow on through? Um, yeah, it's probably something we welcomed really. Um, obviously, there was a few little knocks, but as we said, the 37 last train today, so we recovered well over those those weeks, and yeah, we're ready to go now this week. So. Murray, Murray has been a difficult place for Ireland at times over, over the years. Is that something you've, you've spoken about as a group from the outside, or are you to, to go there and play this game? Yeah, we spoke about it um, early on today. Um, for me personally, really excited. I haven't played in a in a packed out Murrayfield. I only played during those COVID games. There's no fans, so. Really looking forward to it. Really looking forward to the atmosphere and everything that comes with it. Um, it's something that we obviously discuss as a group and just kind of seeing that challenge as a positive and really, I suppose, taking energy from that challenge. Josh, it's the business end of the Six Nations now. We spoke about the injuries and having lads back and today in particular having the full squad is brilliant. How much does that play in your mind when you're training and out of games to? Stay fit and want to do everything possible to not pick up an injury. Um, something I I try not to think of anyway. Um, I probably went through a stage earlier in my career when I was injured a good bit, and then you can get in this uh, this bad loop, I guess, where you think oh, I could get injured. Um, I, like you kind of get into a negative spiral, I guess. But it's something I would try not to think of. Um, but it's I mean it's great to have. The, all that everyone training today it was great to see a few of the lads who've been struggling with with knocks or or um or injuries great to see everyone coming back and it definitely adds so much to the group um the experience that lads bring and then i suppose everyone's on better form then as well because um, when you have lads who aren't training everyone wants to be training and when they're when there's guys not training um it can obviously be pretty tough on them so yeah it was great to great to have everyone out training and um hopefully it stays that way yeah, something I thought about only just the pressure of people talking about Grand Slam, the pressure of places, the competition for places, and then you're thinking about your fitness as well. Is it something that plays on your mind? Um, no, like similar to what Josh said, it's just kind of focusing on what you can control and um, what you can do day to day. And I suppose for me personally, that's just focusing on what I can bring to training and then hope that selection for the weekend allows me to bring it into the game. And Josh, how much do you think this Squad has grown as a team through this Six Nations. Yeah, it's been uh, it has been good. I think every every time this group has has come together um, to train and and to play games, we've always tried to improve. And there's been things we've um, we've developed. And one thing that is really good about this group is how close everyone gets together. Um, in terms of like. There's some lads you might not know as well, but you're always better friends with them than you were before, which I think um, probably doesn't sound like much in terms of performance, looking at the performance side of things, but it makes a huge difference when you're playing with lads you know well, they're your friends, and um, I think that's that's hugely important. And and also then the um, the way we've we've developed th throughout the the tournament, you. Have things you do well in some games, and you kind of grow, you grow on those. You get to take the positives from it, and then um, I suppose the more games you play as well, the more games you have to review, and then you learn from those as well. So it's definitely a big. It's been a big focus of of the coaching staff, and for us as players, it's certainly been driven that we need to we need to keep improving and improve every week. So hopefully, hopefully we're doing that. Last week we spoke to Paul O'Connell just about the preparations for games. And he spoke about when he played for Ireland, how this current team are way ahead of preparations than he would have been and his team at that time. 
that a lot of youth would have notebooks and journals and you know you have all of your research as such done ahead of time and um, something that maybe you said they didn't really do as much of is there things in particular that both of you do for games to prepare and um, well i suppose uh line out defense say will be one thing um Rona and I would would tend to be beside each other uh, for that. So, um, as an example, we'd look at video clips uh, together and see what kind of a threat the opposition has. That would be, I suppose, one thing you get in those small groups um, and try and try and do the analysis on the opposition. Try and learn from each other, um, and even like I'm sure I see see Ronan with the with the other hookers. They're going through. Um, what some of them did well in training, what some could do better and that kind of thing. So I think th it has been really good, those little small groups and, and each group of players trying to help each other improve. Mm -hmm. The same for you, Ryan, yeah? Do you have a, uh, yeah, have a just, journal? Yeah, no, just uh, yeah, have a journal which we write our notes in. Um, yeah, basically just everything that Josh said, but then as well, I suppose what's really helped us as well has probably been Gary Keegan coming in and helping on the mental side of things. And that's just another kind of string in the preparation that you kind of have to get right and you're able to do your own mental stuff and make sure that you're right for the weekend with your little cues and stuff. Well, John. Sorry. Sorry, Johnny. Rich, Richie's a Scotland captain in the back. There's going to be a lot of leadership in, in that area coming from him. How competitive do you think that's going to be in Saturday and how important is it going to be? Yeah, um, Jamie, Jamie's a great, Jamie Richie's a great player. Um, Really, really good guy as well. Chat to him a good few times after games, and um, he's he's uh, very impressive on the field. He's a huge breakdown threat and good ball carrier. Good in the line out. He's he's really good, good all round back row. Um, and I know he'll be. I mean, he'll obviously be be motivating the the Scotland players, which is obviously his role as a leader. But I don't know if they need. They won't need much motivation, I guess. Uh, with the prospect of a triple crown for them if they win. So um, we'll certainly be ready for a pretty motivated and, and pumped up team. And I suppose um, thinking of their back row as well, from my perspective, they'll be their top quality team and they'll definitely have all the motivation they need uh, leading into the weekend. There's a lot of positivity coming from them, particularly this season. They think they could beat France as well. Do you see any difference between the Scotland team this season from maybe a year ago? Um, I suppose it's hard to, to say specific things, but I think they've, the, the way they've attacked, the way they've probably blended all the areas of their game. Um, I mean, there's been times where their line-out's been, been brilliant and maybe the other areas could have been better, but I think you're looking at them now and the performances they've put in, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty all-round complete, complete performances in terms of the way the the forwards are playing, the way the backs are playing, the way they're linking up, and they look like a really, really dangerous team. So it's going to be a a massive challenge, and I think we're definitely definitely all aware of that. Roman, would it be right to you did with Kane and Doris? Yeah. I'm just wondering what you guys would do when you do have a little bit of downtime during the championship, say on a rest week or otherwise. We've been both speaking about how important it is to be prepared and switched on. How do you switch up? Are you able to sit back and watch? Swing on Netflix, or are you still talking about <laughs> the sensations when you're at home? Uh, no, yeah, there's definitely a good bit of switching off, as you say. Um, but yeah, I suppose just there is a bit of obviously you have to keep previewing and looking at things from you're doing in camp, but then it's also equally as important that you have complete switch off that you don't think about rugby for a bit and you're able to, I suppose, reset your mind really. Like, um, so yeah, we also live with Hugo Keenan as well, so the three of us together in the house, so it's. Yeah, it's kind of whatever really, like um, whatever any, I suppose, 25 year olds do like in their <laughs> spare time. like. And so yeah, it's more just chill, more than anything else. Are you able to sort of pool together some of that, compare notes, that kind of thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are, um, as Josh alluded to there about the line out defence stuff, um, I'd be also going through that with Caelan and stuff as well, obviously as a back rower himself. Um, so yeah, there'd be all that sort of stuff and then also just kind of planning our week and what we're going to do in training each week. Um, it's just very handy when you have someone in the house with you that you're able to bounce ideas off. So, yeah. Josh, take the last one, guys. Josh, just 
the white book has some maybe bad parts, Marty failed on, on Sunday. Do you do extra outdoor training, or how do you prepare for that? Or is it just a normal indoor outdoor this week? Um, I think it'll be pretty normal. Um, trained outside today, it was. It was grand. Um, I actually, I heard, I heard it'd be a bit cold, but I actually love the. I normally get quite warm playing, so I don't mind, don't mind a bit of cold. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it doesn't, doesn't change a huge amount for our prep. Um, I think we'll we'll play the conditions as they are, and um, probably not something we're focusing hugely on. How much work has have Ireland done on discipline? We see the impact of red cards, but Ireland's discipline over the last couple of years has been very good in terms of keeping. 15 guys on the field. Do you, is that a constant work on in terms of how to hit as hard as you you can? But are, is there any way you're holding back to make sure that you don't overstep the mark? Um, I think it's the, a lot of lads do um, a lot of technical work. Like you were just, the lads were just chatting about uh, about Hugo, Kaelin and Ronan being in the house. I mean, the three of them are probably the best that you'll see in terms of doing those tackle technique extras and um, I think each individual um, has a responsibility to to get their technique right that they're not going to be making those high shots and it's it's an individual thing I guess it's hard for everyone for it to be coached as a team I guess but it's certainly something that's emphasized is having those good habits and focusing on trying to get your technique as good as possible and I think um, if each individual in the team is doing that, then you'll hopefully end up with, with a lower discipline, I guess. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.